and this is your math students. Welcome to Math Test 225, Experimental Probability. So there's a difference between experimental probability and theoretical probability. So for experimental probability, it's the ratio of the number of times an event occurs to the total number of trials. So what does happen? Right, when I flip a coin 10 times, it might land five heads, five tails, but it actually might land seven heads and three tails. That, that's an experiment, right? Theoretical probability is the probability of an event happening based on the possible outcome. So it's like what should happen. So like when I flip a coin 10 times, it should have five heads and five tails because there's two outcomes, right? Um, so today we're going to use a lot of experimental probability and try to help kind of predict what should happen based on what uh, we see um, with our theoretical probability. So uh, last season, Eric made 21 out of 35 free throws he attempted. Suppose he attempts 50 free throws this season. What's the most reasonable prediction for the number of free throws? So first of all, you want to figure out what is his current probability, right? So 21 out of 35 gives you a 60% free throw chance, right? And so if he's going to shoot 50 free throws in the next season, you're just going to say, well, normally he makes 60% times 50, and that's going to be 30 free throws that he should make. Now, another way to do this is to set up two inequalities. 21 over 35 equals x over um, 50, right? And then just cross multiply and solve that way. Either way, you'll get to 30. Right. Let's take a look at this one. A taco stand lets the first customer every Monday select the type of taco that will be discounted on Tuesday. The table shows the number of times each type of taco had been discounted so far. Based on these results, predict about how many times carne asada tacos will be discounted in the next 10 weeks. Right. So first of all, again, good to get a total. So if we add these up, 6 plus 10 plus 7 plus 9, so far we have 32 total. So for carne asada, currently it's sitting at 6 out of 32. Which if you divide that, is equal to 0.1875 or about 18.75%, right? So how many times is it going to be discounted in the next 10 weeks? We take its current probability of 0.1875 and multiply it by 10. And so that gives you 1.875. And it says about how many? So it's going to be discounted about two times in the next 10 weeks. All right, we can round up 1.875 up to two, all right? Tiana spins the spinner several times. It stops on red 12 of those times. Based on this result, she predicts that if she spins the spinner 1,000 times, the spinner will stop on red 240 times. How many times does Tiana spin the spinner? Notice it doesn't tell you like what section of the spinner is red or if there are numbers or anything like that. It just says how many times does Tiana spin the spinner? Well, we got to use her experimental probability, which said that she landed on red 240 times over a total of 1,000 times. And we got to set that equal to um, our theoretical probability. So uh, if it stops on red 12 of those times, how many times did she spin it? We don't know. So therefore, you got 240 over 1,000 equals 12 over x. So that is obviously 240x equals 12,000. We're just doing some cross multiplication here, right? And then we're going to go ahead and divide by 240 on both sides. x is equal to 50. So she spun the spinner 50 times. So again, she used kind of the information that she had for a thousand and was able to help her solve what would it, how many times we spin it if she landed on red 12 times, right? So writing these ratios helps. And lastly, there's an upcoming election in Debbie's town. Uh, Debbie asked random sampling voters whether they plan to vote for the current mayor against the current mayor um, or undecided. So his results are shown in the table. Um, uses results to predict for how many people will be for, against, and undecided in a group of 2,000. So again, let's find a total here. So if we add these up, 12 plus 25 plus 3, 
this has a sample size of 40. So 4 is going to be 25 out of 40, which is equal to 0.625 probability. 12 out of 40 is equal to 0.30 or 0.3, and 3 out of 40 is 0.075. So for your 4, you're just going to take your current probability, 0.625, multiply it by 2,000. For your against, same thing. Current probability of 0.3, multiply it by 2,000. And for your undecided, your current probability um, of 0.075, multiply it by 2,000. Answers, right? So, uh, pollsters use this data all the time. They'll take a, a straw poll coming out um, and use it as a sample size to kind of predict the results of elections. Right, your job now is to go ahead and do the backside here. I will post these answers here in just a second, um, and uh, then you're moving on to your high ready. Problem like number one: you want to add these all up to get your totals, right? And then each fraction is uh, your probability for that particular thing. And for broccoli, they said find it out for 40 students and then you just take that and multiply it by 40. You'll get decimals you can round to the nearest whole. 6.8 or 7 students from number one. That's it. I don't really get a chance to work on your own. Here are the correct answers. There's number two. Here's number six, the two correct answers 131 and 30. Number seven, 344 and 625. Please make sure you understand how you got these answers and not just copying down what the answers are.